Okay guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we've got the new aftermarket part and conversion kit for the Bass B Battle Rifle in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So the new aftermarket part did just come out with the weekly objectives and it's going to convert the gun into a single bolt action gun. So as you can see, if we shoot once, we're then going to bolt that second shot in. It's not something that we can just spam. As you can see, there's a little bolt animation, but it looks like it's going to be one shot in the zombies in the tier one zone, which is kind of cool. So of course, I'm going to be doing my very best to test the gun out of all kinds of rarities. The only problem, I don't have any legendary AF tools, so we're going to have to use an epic AF tool, which shouldn't make too much of a difference, but it might make a little difference what you could get if we did use a legendary AF tool. But as you can see, one shots all the zombies in the tier 1 zone, no problem whatsoever. So let's just take it straight into the tier 2. And I've also brought in a mags of holding as well, just to see what the gun's going to be like. We'll see what the reload speed and stuff's like, and if it looks like it's going to struggle, we'll just chuck on the mags of holding, and then that problem will be eliminated. Okay, so we've got some tier 2 zombies in front of us here. Let's see what sort of damage we can do. So it looks like it's going to be maybe a 3 shot to the tier 2 zombies, as long as you're hitting critical shots. As you can see, I seem to be missing a fair few of my shots. But if you pair this up with a dead shot daiquiri, this could become very, very broken. But yeah, this is looking like it's going to do pretty decent damage in the tier 2 zone. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the damage is okay. The one problem that I will say that it does have is, of course, the fire rate isn't the craziest. Um, which is going to make it a little bit of a problem. So we'll just go ahead and tier 1 pack a punch it. And then we can see what sort of damage we are going to start doing now again in the tier 2 zone. So it looks like a one shot on a normal zombie. Armored zombie took a little bit extra damage there. Um, we can just keep taking these out. I will say as well, the biggest magazine you can put on this is a 20. Because the conversion kit does actually take away from the, the magazine attachment. So you have to have the one that comes with the conversion kit. Which is a 20 round mag. Of course, once pack a punch is going to go up to a 40 round mag. Which still isn't that bad. Considering it's a single shotgun, you don't really need bigger than a 40. But it does look like in the tier 2 zone, it's going to struggle a little bit at the damage it's going to do. I was kind of expecting to do a little bit more damage than this, to be honest. But it looks like it's going to struggle a very small, tiny little bit with some of the damage that it will do. But let me go ahead and start a high-value target contract and a bounty contract in the tier 2 zone. And then we can really start seeing what this is going to be like. Well, it looks like we've got a mangler to try and take down, which shouldn't be too bad, to be totally honest. We'll see what sort of damage it can do. Again, if it struggles, I'll just whack it straight up to a tier 2 pack -a punch We have the facilities to do that. So if it looks like it's struggling and I'm not going to be able to take it down at tier 1 pack -a punch we will just tier 2 pack -a punch it straight away. But this is what testing other guns is all about. Sometimes you're going to have guns that will do the damage straight away, and some guns you are just going to have to upgrade as you go along. That's just how it's going to go. Okay, so my teammate's pulled up as well, which isn't the end of the world. That will help me out a little bit, but let's see if we can find this mangler, see what sort of damage we can start doing to him. Right, so here is the mangler right in front of us now. Let's see what sort of damage we can start doing. Doesn't like it's going to do the craziest, craziest damage. To be fair, I'm hitting headshots on it as well, and it looks like so far... It's not doing the most insane damage. So what have we got him down to so far? We Wow, we have literally hardly moved his health whatsoever. Like We have literally not moved his health in the slightest. So my teammate's going to come along and do the majority of the damage there. That looked like it was really struggling. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. It's tier 1 pack a punch. Um, you know, we are in a tier 2 zone. So some guns aren't always that good. It's not always the case of the guns being really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and tier 2 pack a punch it now. And we'll see if that's going to start making a big difference to the gun. Okay, so we've got a couple tier 2 zombies here now in front of us. If I can hit a shot. Okay, so there we go. It's going to one-shot the tier 2 zombies to the head. What about the armored zombies? So armored zombies, looks like that might be a two-shot headshot, um, if I'm totally honest. So, yeah, it's not it's not terrible now that we've tier 2 pack a punch in the tier 2 zone. But it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be overall. Like, overall, I genuinely thought it might be a little bit stronger than what it is so far. I'm going to jump into the tier 3 zone, see what sort of damage we can start doing at tier 3. Again, like I said, tier 2 zombies look like you are going to be able to get through them with just the one shot now, which is really, really nice. Armored zombies, a little bit more damage, but again, they are armored, so, you know, you, you kind of expect that. But it's not looking like the strongest, but it's not looking like the weakest gun as of right now. I will see how we get on in the tier 3 zone and really give a good feel of how this gun's going to actually play out. But it also depends, at, once it's up to tier 3 pack a punch and that epic aether tool, it depends what it's going to be like against boss zombies as well. We might find that this might not be super strong against zombies, but it might be really good against bosses. We just don't know until we fully try it. Okay, so here we are in the tier 3 zone. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to these tier 3 zombies if I can hit my shots. It doesn't look... doesn't look like it's going to do very much damage, to be fair. I'm going to be totally honest. That really doesn't look like it's going to be doing that much damage to those zombies. But as you can see, it's really not... Putting up crazy, crazy damage on the zombies. We're able to take them out. Just not very quickly. Like, it's taking a lot of bullets. As you can see, it's, it really is taking a lot of bullets. So, it might be a case of maybe chucking the epic aether tool on now. And seeing what sort of damage it's going to do with that. 
And then we can just hope that's going to make a decent difference to the gun when we play it in the tier 3. And then, of course, I will tier 3 pack a punch it in a moment as well. So do we have any zombies around lurking up here? Let's have a little look. So there's one in front of us. We have now got the epic Aether tool on, so we can see if it's going to make any sort of difference. Um... So it looks like it might, yeah, that looks like the epic Aether tool is going to make a decent difference. So it looks like we're going to be two shot in the regular zombies. Boss, uh, not the boss zombies, but the armored zombies look like they're going to be a two or a three shot now. So it's definitely made a big difference. Definitely improved the damage having that Aether tool on for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and tier three pack a punch this and then we can really start seeing what it's going to be like at its full capacity. Okay, so here we are in the tier three zone. We should now be able to pack a punch. Two tier three, absolutely perfect. Exactly what we wanted. See what sort of damage we can... It looks like it's going to be a lot stronger now. We've got Mimics here, which we can help take out. It looks like it's... Yeah, it looks like it's definitely going to do a lot more damage in the tier three zone now than what it was before. So we've got a Mega Abomination here, actually. Let's see if we can help him out. I mean, it's basically got no health left anyway, but it looked like it was actually going to do some decent damage there. So now that we've got it fully maxed out, it definitely feels like it's going to play a lot better. We've got a Mimic in front of us. Let's see what sort of damage we can do here to the Mimic. Doesn't seem to be dropping it too slowly. Again, the fire rate isn't crazy, crazy fast, which is kind of where this gun's going to get let down a little bit. But it does seem to do decent damage. It did manage to take out the Mimic pretty quickly. Is it the best gun in the game and the fastest gun? No, but it's not terrible, if I'm totally honest. So I think what I also want to do is actually chuck on the Mags of Holding as well, and we can see if that's going to make any difference. So then we've never actually got a reload. Of course, we've still got to bolt the bullet, and that, that still obviously needs to get done, but... We can just keep spraying and spraying and spraying. We haven't ever got to worry about running out of ammo. We've not got a reload at any point. Again, that Mimic went down pretty quickly. I mean, it's not doing terribly against the zombies and the bosses. It's not doing a bad job. It's just not doing an insane job that's totally game-changing to all the other guns within the game. But let me try and help out with this bounty target. We've got a Mangler down here. Let me try and help my team out, see if we can do some decent damage to it. And actually see what sort of numbers we can put up whilst using the new Bass P aftermarket part. So it looks like we can do some decent damage, some nice critical shots on it there. As you can see, if we just spam and spray it, it looks like it's actually going to drop the Mangler pretty quickly. It needs to be a little bit careful of my health. But yeah, it looked like it was actually doing some really good damage there to the Mangler. It really wasn't struggling too much. It was putting up some nice damage on the HVT. Of course, obviously, I know my team was around as well, which were helping me out. But still, it wasn't doing the worst damage in the world. We've got another Mimic pulling up. We've already done half health to the Mimic. Yeah, it's a really nice gun. It is, it's, it's, it's a good little gun. It's not bad at all. And by no means is it the craziest, is it the best gun in the game by any means necessary. But so far from what we've used it in, it's felt decent. We've got a Mangler here that we can try and test it on a little bit. If I can actually hit a headshot, there we go. Managed to get one bit of armor broken. Now that the armor's broken, we should just be able to lay into it and get that thing down pretty quickly, just like so. So yeah, it just adds a nice little different way to play with the Bass B Battle Rifle. Obviously, adding that single shot aspect to it, make it into a bolt action sniper more than a battle rifle. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping it was going to do, to be totally honest with you. I was kind of hoping for it to be a little bit more powerful, um, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely usable. It's very viable. You can use it if you want to go ahead and use it. It's not going to do too bad a damage to the zombies. Like, as you can see, the zombies coming through. We can drop them pretty quickly. Like It's going to hold off zombies. It can do hordes of zombies with no real problem. we got armored zombies coming up. We'll drop that one pretty quickly. No problem. Again, just making use of my perks. It's going to lock it onto the zombie's head. Just keep ADSing and un-ADSing. It's going to make us do more damage to the headshot. Obviously, where this gun's going to be more powerful. But it's not a bad little gun. I'm going to carry on using it. Obviously, we're only a little bit into the game so far. So we'll try some more bosses. Maybe some Mega Abominations with full HP. Um... Mega Abomination Bounty Targets, all of that sort of stuff. We'll just carry on going and hopefully jump into the Dark Aether at some point too. So we've got a Mega Abomination in it. See what sort of damage we can do to it. Let's see if we can get into a fight with it and actually do some decent damage. We'll try and get those eye shots open. There we go. Critical shot there. Move out of the way before it charges at me. We didn't manage to move, but it's okay. We just let it turn around. Go on, get an eye open. Show me, show me a little critical shot. There we go. Okay, it switched its eyes as, as I was shooting both times, which is kind of annoying. We're good, though. We're fine. We're chilling. We're going to be okay. So here we go. It's going to open its eye now. We can just start spraying at that. I think my teammate actually popped one in the end. So here there goes the Mega Abomination firing its lasers again. Let's see if we can get a head pop before I go down. Doesn't look like I'm going to, to be honest. It does not look like I'm going to do a head. I can't even pop a head without going down, which is actually kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That is actually kind of crazy. That might be one of the only guns I've used that I haven't been able to pop a Mega Abomination's head before it's taken me down. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty poor going so far. Like, normally you can just stand there, firm the shots a Mega Abomination is going to do to you, but still get the head popped. But in this situation, 
just doesn't look like that is going to be the way. Like, let's have another look. I mean, we did get insta kill there, which has helped. But even then, even with insta kill, it's taken me a hot minute to take that down. Like, against the Mega Abomination just then, that was really poor. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. That was a really, really poor showing. And I don't know if I'm just being harsh on the gun because I'm used to using things like assault rifles, SMGs, you know, like fully automatic guns that have really high damage profiles, things like the flamethrower, the crossbow recently. I don't know if I'm just judging it like off of how they normally play or if I'm just using a bad a bad conversion kit. I, I really don't know what the, what the uh, outcome is here. I just don't feel like this is super, super strong. I don't feel like it's super effective and by no means is it going to be the best conversion kit in the game. But yeah, it's not, it's, it's by no means is it bad, it's just not insane, like it's not the craziest thing you're ever going to use, that's definitely for sure. But a Disciple there went down pretty quickly, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say on it, I, I, I can't, it's not anything crazy, like it's not going to be game changing, you guys aren't going to go and use this and be like, wow, Harry, this is the best gun in the game, I can't believe they've added this, da 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 but you're also not going to go, Harry, that gun was absolutely terrible, I don't really know what more to say on it. Other than what I have already said, it's, it isn't anything crazy. It's not anything insane, but it, it's not anything bad either. I, don't, I really don't know what to compare it to. So if you was playing solo, maybe I wouldn't recommend using it with it being a single shot gun or like a, a, a bolt action gun. I don't know if it's going to be the best. But if you're playing with a squad and you want to try something different, try out one of the new aftermarket parts, then this could be a fun gun to use. It definitely might be a fun gun for you guys to go ahead and try. Use something a little bit different to what you normally use. But one of the great things is, of course, with it being a battle rifle, it's got decent damage range on it. As long as you can hit your shots, unlike me, you're going to do decent damage. There we go. Zombie critical kill from that far away. Like, if you can actually hit your shots, you're going to do good damage with it from all kinds of distances. And as you've seen, it does take out zombies. It doesn't struggle against the zombies too much. It's not that bad of a gun. It's just like not going to be the best gun. You're going to have like a fully automatic assault rifles that are going to do better damage. They're going to be more powerful. They're going to take things out faster. SMGs are going to take things out faster, but that's purely because their fire rate is faster and they've got high damage profiles anyway, whereas this has got a decent damage profile, but it's got a much slower fire rate now that we've converted it into a bolt action gun. So it's not the best. It's not the strongest. It's definitely not the best conversion kit we've seen. And recently they've done a really good job at adding some very overpowered conversion kits into the game that have been fun to use. Whereas, unfortunately for me, this just doesn't feel like that. It just doesn't feel like one of them broken conversion kits we've been having a lot of fun with recently. Okay, so we've got a high-value target, Mega Abomination, which I'm going to try and go and take on. I know my team will arrive eventually, but I'm going to try and do the first bit of damage to it myself. And uh, we'll see if it's going to make it, if I'm actually going to do any damage to it. Because the first, last Mega Abomination that we took on, it was a very lackluster performance. We did not seem to be able to do anything to that gun whatsoever. So it's going to start shooting its lasers. No, it's not. It's going to charge at me instead. Okay. I read that one wrong, didn't I? That was a very bad play from me. Now it's going to start shooting its lasers. Let me see if I can get one of its eyes popped. No, it's just... it's oh, The fire rate is just so slow on it, and there's nothing you can do to improve it. It's just such a slow fire rate. It, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't... I don't think I'd recommend you guys go and try this conversion kit. Like I said, if you want to use something that's totally different and you probably wouldn't have used much things like this before, maybe go and try it. But outside of that, there's no reason for you guys to even want to go and try this, if I'm totally honest with you. Like, let's stand right next to it. Okay, we did actually manage to get a head pop there, but of course my whole team is shooting at it as well, which does help. But, I mean, even then, it just it really wasn't great. I'm going to try and get my team to go into the Dark Aether Zone now and uh, see what it's going to be like in there. Okay, so I've been trying to get my team to go to the Dark Aether Zone, and they keep saying they're going, but every time I load it up, nobody seems to want to go, so don't really know what's going on, so I'm just going to go try and take out this Mimic, see if we can do any more damage to it. Okay, so we've got a couple of Mimics that have just rolled up on us, one being the HVT, and the other one just being some random Mimic that wants to come and play. Need to be careful of my health there. Okay, cool, my teammates got me up already, perfect. We're not doing bad damage to it, we were actually doing okay damage to it when we were just laying into it just then, which is decent. Um, but again, it's been nothing too crazy so far. See, we can do decent damage to something like a Mangler there. Even from range, we were doing decent damage to it. But I mean, even here, trying to take down the spores, even that's not great with the speed, the, the fire rate of this gun. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment uh, once this one is done. Like, look, if I'm trying to take down a spore for a spore control contract, even that is so slow because of the fire rate of this gun, which really isn't great. I mean... I'm not too sold on this gun, or the conversion kit, at least, anyway. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm really not sold. I don't think it's the best. I don't know if I'd recommend you guys to, like, go and definitely unlock it to make sure you use it whilst it's ridiculously broken. Because, yes, it's good. It's just not crazy broken by any means. It's not, like, a game-changing gun that you guys definitely need to get your hands on. 
But I mean, even here, we've got disciples pulling up. It's not doing the worst damage. But if you was to imagine an assault rifle or an SMG, imagine how much quicker you would have got through that disciple by then if you had something that does the same sort of damage. Like imagine you use like a Ram 9 or something along those lines. You'd have taken that disciple down so much faster. And again, with this Mangler, we've got one coming up on us. Let's see what sort of damage we can do. It's just not crazy, crazy fast by any means. Like, it really, really isn't. So, I'm hoping we're going to go to the Dark Aether after this contract. If not, then you might not see this gun tested in the Dark Aether, which I don't think is the end of the world. I don't think we need to go to the Dark Aether for this gun to be make or break. It's not... It's nothing crazy, if I'm totally honest, so far. Okay, so we're finally going to go to the Dark Aether zone as well. Okay, so I was planning on going to the Dark Aether, and it looks like my game may have frozen or broken or crashed or whatever. But would I recommend you guys using the new Bass B aftermarket part? Probably not, to be totally honest. It's not that great. It's nothing special. It's nothing crazy. You guys aren't missing out on anything by not using it. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to smash a thumbs up as it helps me out more than you can imagine. Let me know your thoughts on this Bass B aftermarket part in the comments below. Do you guys think it's worth going and unlocking and using? Let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, please make sure you do go ahead and do so and check out the rest of the channel for a whole bunch more zombies content. But I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Have a great day and I will catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.